So one of the things that we can do inside of Excel is we see we have sort of this little breakdown on uh, the cost of a project. Now, since obviously this is just one estimation of it, what I could do is I could come in here, right click, copy, move, boom, yay, now I have two copies of it. I've got two ones that I can work off of. Well, I don't want to do that because what happens if I have 10 different scenarios or 20 different scenarios? It would be really nice if Excel sort of allowed me to have one sheet and it worked off of that. That's actually what the what if analysis scenario manager allows us to do. So in our case, we click on it. The first thing we see is there are no scenarios to find. Well, let's go ahead and define sort of this as our original type of scenario. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call in. I'm just going to name this scenario uh, the original. But now all of a sudden changing what sells. Well, I need to sell, uh, change D9, D10, D11. So I'm going to go ahead and come in and just click hold drag. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And you see that it'll give me just, oh, what do we want these values to be, this scenario. In our case, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Now I have suddenly this scenario, and right now it doesn't do terribly much. But let's go ahead and add in another one. And this time we're going to go ahead and say, well, let's say we hired a single contractor. Uh, they did regular 300 hours, but they also worked some overtime. So a single contractor with overtime. Let me go ahead and fix that. Single contractor with overtime. We hit OK. We're going to leave this as a 1. We're going to leave this as a 300. But we're going to change this to say that they worked 40 extra hours. Well, we hit OK. Nothing changed over here, but you see we have two scenarios all of a sudden. Right now I'm in my original scenario, but if I come over here to Single Contractor, I can click Show, and look what happened. Overtime just went to 40, and we can see how many hours were worked. $18,000. I don't want to pay $18,000, so let's see if we can make another scenario. This time I'm going to hire, instead of one contractor and pay him overtime, I'm going to pay two contractors to do this work. So I come in, multiple contractors, no overtime. I still have the same cells being selected. I hit OK. D9, this time all of a sudden I'm going to do a 2. Now, I'm going to leave this as a 0, but I'm going to go ahead and change this. And obviously I'm just going to play around with this for a second. I'm going to go ahead and say that I still want 300, but I want it to be equal to 300 divided by two coming from the D9. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. I do get a little bit of a, hey, you know, things are doing, we, weird stuff's happening. This is just turning into a value. And that's what it's going to do, because when I hit show, all of a sudden I can see that by hiring two contractors, splitting the amount of hours they both have, uh, so they only work 150 each, is going to be same amount, same amount of work, just two people, is going to be cheaper than the single contractor. Now the last thing I can do is I can also come in here and I can select this option called Summary. Now, as you can see, ooh, it makes all these different things. What do I want to be reporting off of, for example? We'll go ahead and leave it as is, but when I hit OK, all of a sudden I get a new little chart here that shows me each one of my scenarios and the cost breakdown of what each one is going to be. Pretty nice.